this mass is being offered for the reposal of Joseph Small. Today the Mother Church celebrates the feast of St. James the Apostle. Let us ask his intercession on our behalf too. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, accepting our unworthiness before the Lord. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O oh God, Almighty Father, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. seated and the have mercy on us for you alone are the holy one you alone are the lord you alone are the most high jesus christ with the holy spirit in the glory of god the father amen let us pray almighty ever living god who consecrated the first fruits of your apostles by the blood of the by the blood of St. James, grant that we pray that your church may be strengthened by his confession of faith and constantly sustained by his protection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the second letter of Paul to the Corinthians. We have this treasure in clay vessels so that it may be made clear that this extraordinary power belongs to God and does not come from us. We are afflicted in every way, but not crushed, perplexed, but not driven to despair, persecuted, but not forsaken, struck down, but not destroyed, always carrying in the body the death of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may also be made visible in our bodies. For while we live, we are always being given up to the death for Jesus' sake, so that the life of Jesus may be made visible in our mortal flesh. So death is at work in us, but life in you. Just as we have the same spirit of faith that is, in, that is in accordance with Scripture, I believed, and so I spoke. We also believe, and so we speak, because we know that the one who raised the Lord Jesus will raise us also with Jesus and will bring us with you into his presence. Yes, everything is for your sake so that grace, as it extends to more and more people, may increase thanksgiving to the glory of God. The word of the Lord. Those who sow in tears shall reap with shouts of joy. Those who sow in tears shall reap with shouts of joy. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, we were like those who dream. Then our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with shouts of joy. 
Those who sow in tears shall reap with shouts of joy. Then it was said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us, and we rejoiced. Those who sow in tears shall reap with shouts of joy. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the water courses in the desert of the Negev. May those who sow in tears reap with shouts of joy. Those who sow in tears shall reap with shouts of joy. Those who go out weeping, bearing the seed for sowing, shall come home with shouts of joy, carrying their sheaves. Those who sow in tears shall reap with shouts of joy. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The mother of the sons of Zebedee came to Jesus with her sons, and kneeling before him, she asked a favor of him. And Jesus said to her, What do you want? She said to him, Declare that these two sons of mine will sit, one at your right hand and one at your left in your kingdom. But Jesus answered, You do not know what you are asking. Are you able to drink the cup that I am about to drink? They said to him, We are able. Jesus said to them, You will indeed drink my cup, but to sit at my right hand and at my left, this is not mine to grant, but it is for those for whom it has been prepared by my Father. When the ten heard it, they were angry with the two brothers. But Jesus called them to him and said, You know that the rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them, and their great ones are tyrants over them. It will not be so among you. But whoever wishes to, but whoever wishes to be great among you must be your servant. And whoever wishes to be first among you must be your slave. Just as the Son of Man came not, not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. The Gospel of the Lord. We know that God's people, Israelites, they were awaited for the long awaited Messiah, and they thought he will establish the kingdom of Israel. He will be an earthly king who will chase away the Roman Empire, and he will establish his own kingdom. They thought he will be a real king. So in this background, even Jesus' apostles and some other disciples thought the same. That's why the mother of these two apostles approaches the Lord, asking for this favor. She said, Lord, when will you establish your kingdom? Allow two of my sons, one at your, to sit at your right hand and the other at your left. And Jesus asked her, do you know what you are asking? Do you know what you are asking? Then Jesus turned towards his disciples, two of her sons, John and James. Are you able to drink the cup that I am about to drink? In other words, are you able to suffer? Are you able to carry my cross? Are you able to be persecuted, humiliated for the sake of the gospel? They simply said yes. 
I don't think they were convinced what they were saying. But later on, St. James, he gave his life for the kingdom of God. He was martyred. Eventually, he did. So dear brothers and sisters, today, our Lord asks the same question. Whatever it is, we are in this world for a short period of time, and we are preparing, in spite of our unworthiness, to inherit God's kingdom, his heaven. We are longing for that. That's why we are here. And we ask favors. In return, Jesus asks us the same thing. Do you know what you are asking for? Are you able to drink the cup that I have already drunk? In other words, I repeat, are you able to carry your daily cross? Are you ready to be persecuted, humiliated? If we say yes, thank God. He blesses our yes. Dear friends, let us try our level best to suffer and to glorify God in our daily endeavors so that one day we will receive his kingdom and we will be able to see God face to face. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mixture of his water and wine, may we come to share in his divinity. Who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Lord, wash away my iniquities. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Cleanse us, Lord, by the saving baptism of your Son's passion, so that on the feast of St. James, whom you willed to be the first among the apostles, to drink of Christ's chalice of suffering, we may offer a sacrifice pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With you. Lift up your hearts. Lift up Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For you have built your church to stand firm on apostolic foundations, to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth, and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. Therefore, now and for ages unending, with all the host of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out as we acclaim. Holy. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, 
so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world. Make us grow in love together with Francis our Pope and Thomas our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us praise our Heavenly Father with the words our Savior taught us. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Give us this day. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. <clears throat> By the mingling of his body and blood of Christ, Bring eternal life to us, who to save us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him 
who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life.
let us pray. Help us, O Lord, we pray, through the intercession of the blessed Apostle James, on whose feast day we have received with joy your holy gifts through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.